fans from all around the world. I keep saying that. That's kind of my opening line now. I need to change that up a little bit. Uh, but we're back. It's new people. Uh, it's Music of People of Journeys. Uh, new album review show with my wonderful consortium. Or half my consortium with William, with Trish, with Lauren and with Simon. Ooh. So Ooh. Uh, we review the latest rock albums. Rate them out of five. See if they get into a Hall of Fame. Or will they? Because this is the last uh, batch of albums we're reviewing before the Album of the Year review show. Will they get in? Uh, let's find out. Today's offering is Four Years Strong and their album Analysis Paralysis, uh, which in our industry, because we're for the board game industry, is used quite extensively. Oh, come on, you've got Analysis Paralysis. So I like the name of the song. Already got half a mark from me. For that title mm. um, on that score. Uh, William, uh, Four Years Strong, is that a band that you've come across? Uh, who are they, by the way? Uh, just to say, they are um, an American pop band, band from Worcester, Massachusetts, formed in 2001. Uh, um, and you can read much more about them on the biography just below the video. Okay, if you want to know a bit more about them, um, go check them out. But they are from Massachusetts. Uh, I tell you who isn't. It's William. Uh, William, back to you. Four years strong. Let's find out. What well, gave it away? I thought I, I portrayed myself as as quite the Southern American man. You do. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Uh, Ehar. Yeah, my, yeah. my, my, my illusion has been shattered with my quarter zip. And <laughs> Sorry, I'm blowing that, mate. Sorry, um, that vibe is oh, well. well. Yeah. How trifling so, awful. <laughs> so I, it's it's the first time listening to them as as most ones this this month. Um, as as I've said many times before, I'm quite partial of the old pop punk. Uh, I love it. I, my guiltiest of pleasures is pop punk. And this is this was a very very enjoyable album for me. I had a great time. It's 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 sort of it's, I think the best way to describe it is it's it is pop punk, but it's a pop punk for the music now, where it's a lot of the songs are a lot heavier and have a lot more of the angry man shouting at me. In a angrier tone than than pop punk used to, which I found very enjoyable. I think it's still Stifil, S T F I L, Stifil, yeah, a name like that. Uh, very good song. That was my fave. Um, okay. However, um, as a rate for listening pleasure, I had to mark it down more bit that I wanted to, because the album cover scares me, <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> It's it's aura mocks me and it frightens me. So, when I'm the one who stops it getting into the Hall of Fame, my half a point. Make a better album cover. Really? It's frightening. Why is it frightening? You've seen it. I can't remember it. It's oh no. Oh. It's a weird dog thing with fake eyes and red and then looking. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I, just, I kind of went. Well, it's weird. Now I tell you who's not scary. Or is she? Rock Trick Trish! What did you think? <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> Rock Trick Trish! Okay. Well, I feel for you because for me, from the album cover of a freaky looking character that looks like it's from a 1970s kid program, I had no idea what to expect. So I would be analysing this album most carefully. My analysis is this is not a bad album at all for pop punk genre of music. I'm not normally a fan of punk in its many forms, but this album was quite palatable and enjoyable to my ears. I really enjoyed the tracks Bad Habit, Out of Touch and Paranoia. Whilst it's probably not what I would say a go-to album for me, but if it was on, I wouldn't turn it off. Lovers of the pop genre won't be disappointed, I'm sure. Now, the question is, is that you did analyse this, but um, did you do it for four years? That's the question. Um, now, now, talked about somebody who's strong, but it is four years strong. Um, uh, let's find out. Lauren! Ooh, them guns. Um, <laughs> so I very much agree with the consensus so far. Um, <clears throat> when I first looked up the album to put it in my little playlist to have a look... Um, I was like, oh, this album looks like it may stay with me for all the wrong reasons <laughs> in my nightmares. <laughs> um, however, having started listening to it, Four Years Strong is a very appropriate name for the band because it was a strong album, in my opinion. Um, I love pop punk and that style of music. I've often gone to Emo Fest and stuff like that. 
um it's it's the sort of music that really got me into rock and things like that um a good variety of tracks on there that i really enjoyed um had a solid core in its genre just really really enjoyed it it's a bit of a grower didn't listen to it and immediately fall in love but after getting used to it and going okay getting a grasp of what was going on thoroughly enjoyed would listen again simon would you listen to it again is this your cup of tea <laughs> why yes indubitably um <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, showing off my southern accent there, sorry. Yeah, um, I thought we're back in Massachusetts again. I know, right? I know, right? Right there. So, yeah, um, I'm really reveling in what I refer to, so Will was trying to find the term, but I'm really reveling in what I call the post-dad pop-punk emo era, where all these all these emo artists have grown up and become dads and stuff, and they're now like, you know, now they're into that new phase of their life and singing all about the emotions of changing diapers. Um, to be fair, Four Year Strong have been solid for years, um, and they've, they've got really consistent releases. Like, like, they've been producing albums, like, every year. I haven't been closely following them, but they do keep popping up into my playlists from time to time, and I just kind of, you know, one of those casually enjoying them, so... Um, so weirdly, though, this is one of those albums where I don't actually have a lot to comment on it because the vibes are playful, it's thought-provoking with some of the lyrics, and it's all sort of sweetly reminiscent of those emo days um, with all that sort of... When you used to love all that pop-punk stuff. It, I mean, the album's not going to set the world on fire, but it doesn't need to. It's a solid dose of good vibes. Um, the tracks, Maybe It's Me and um, Dead End Friend were my standouts. They've gone on my playlist. And the lyrics are just great. Um, I, I, and Joey Farish, it's the kind of band I'd love to see live at like a festival or something. I think they'd really get the crowd going. So, yeah, overall, really good album. I really enjoyed it. So I just laughed about the diapers bit, and I'll talk to you about that <laughs> about months later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, right, okay. Um, yeah, I, I've got to say, American pop punk sometimes doesn't really kick it for me, um, but I actually... Quite enjoyed it. Uh, didn't love it, but I actually really quite enjoyed it. Um, for me, my favourite track was uh, "How Do I Let You Go." Um, I just, I just thought this was a really, it was a fun album. It was good, and, and for me, there was a lot of very, very good albums this month for me personally. I actually really, really enjoyed the 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 sixteen albums that I've listened to, and you know, and this was, um, th this was, yeah, it was alright. I can't say more than that. American pop punk. It was varied. It was good. It was good. It was solid. And I quite enjoyed it. Um, did I love it? No. Um, but um, yeah, I think on another month, it probably be one of my better, better albums. But anyway, will it get into a hall of fame or will William fuck it up uh, with his album cover? <laughs> the notion. Let's find out, <laughs> shall we? Um, William, what did you give? Uh, what did you give this? See, I would have given it a four. However, <laughs> it is a humble 3.5. Uh, Trish? I gave it a three. And Lauren? I gave it a four. And um, Simon? Well, they called four years strong, so I gave him a four. I had you down four point five. Did you give it oh, four? Four point five it is. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, I've written it down wrong. You Oops. did. And uh, I um Dom uh, Dom would give this a four. So he quite enjoyed this as well. So uh, if I give this a three point five, then William has fucked it up. Alright? Okay. And they would not have got into the Hall of Fame. By the narrowest of measure. If I've given this a four, then William, you haven't fucked it up, okay? And they are in our Hall of Fame. I am delighted to say, William, that you have indeed fucked it up, and I did only give it a three point five, and therefore, therefore, four years strong can write in a letter of bitterest complaint to you that they did not get into the MPJ Hall of Fame, okay? Because they got three point nine, William. So yes. You're half a point, mate. The album cover is very important for one's listening pleasure. It is. And for it you, is. scares for me. You, no, absolutely. Do you know what? It, it's an experience, isn't it? We don't rate albums for its technical ability. We rate albums for our overall enjoyment. And if the album cover for you is part of that enjoyment, then four years strong 
don't be so horrible and horrific with your album covers. Sensitive. <laughs> um, say, well, if you want to tell them, they're touring um, next year. They're playing the engine rooms in Southampton on the February the 25th. Yeah, we'll march you down oh. there. We'll march you down there, like, you know, with placards that... Uh, yeah. I'll bring a, a better, I'll bring a big old banner with a a, a new album cover I'll, I'll draw in <laughs> <Yeah>. Microsoft Paint. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Show my awful ability. But listen, for your strong analysis of paralysis, you got a thumbs up basically from, from ShipQuest. Uh, it just wasn't a double thumbs up, but you've still got a really good thumbs up. Huh? ShipQuest. ShipQuest. You said ShipQuest? You mean from MPJ? Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, Pa. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, from, 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 from we're not at work now night uh, i'm gonna leave that in right okay goodbye everybody thank you to my panel to trish to lauren to simon and to william and from ship quest bye everybody <laughs> bye bye, bye.